So we've collected five kilos of Blue Mountain Gum, which is a member of the eucalyptus family, which will produce hopefully high yields of uh, eucalyptus oil. And uh, I've read that the berries or the uh, the seed pods are okay as well as the, uh, the ends of the stems. I have two carrier bags, uh, large carrier bag stuff full. They weigh five kilos. So now we'll be using a still, which we're making from, or which we've made uh, from an old pressure cooker. Now this pressure cooker was actually given to me. I fashioned a copper washer sealed with silicon and a single union, um, 10 mil copper tube. And the copper tube is coiled around in a washing up bowl. Uh, to actually coil the tube, you need to fill the tube with sand and then seal the ends over with tape and that will stop it from kinking. And then the collection vessel, which is a demijohn. So our hydrosol and the oil will come out into the demijohn and then we'll later separate the, uh, the, um, the water from the oil. The pressure cooker requires uh, pressure, but unfortunately we don't have pressure because we have an open vent. So what we'll need to do is to fashion a clamp, which will be two pairs of mole grips and something underneath the, the lip, not, not the lip that's bent over to catch, uh, but the open-ended part of the lip. And the, this will be placed underneath and the mole grips will clamp that in place. Hopefully we should produce a good yield, we'll wait and see. Okay. That is a really good piece of kit. Mm. When you think you've crammed enough of the um, plant material into the pressure cooker, this is a drain cover, which um, it was a new, new drain cover, but you could use an old one and, uh, and boil it. Mm. And then what we do, is you took all the stems out of arm's way so we don't anything interfering with that edge and literally stamped just to, just to cross it all down to get as much as we can once you fill the pressure cooker you'll need to add about three quarters of a kettle full of boiling water This will be returned back to the gas and brought back up to the boil and then down onto a simmer. Once simmering on a very low gas, it should take about 1 hour and 30 minutes to complete the batch. You need to be careful to make sure that there are no twigs and no leaves that could interfere with the seal of the pressure cooker. So just carefully press the leaves down. Oh, using a pair of mole grips as you see. Now we need to fit the pressure cooker lid. And we need to apply pressure externally because uh, the open ended tube um, doesn't provide the pressure required inside the pressure cooker to actually cause the seal, the rubber seal to work properly. So by applying pressure with mole grips and uh, a knot that we've placed underneath the lip, uh, it works quite well. It is important to keep the water in the plastic water bowl cool. So this will regularly involve removing a jug full of water and replacing with cold water or several jugfuls of water. You need to bring it back up to the boil so you need to watch this very carefully and the best way to do this is to keep feeling this pipe that's your main outlet pipe as soon as that gets hot you'll know that the, 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 um, the distillery process is starting to work which means that the, uh, the contents are heated sufficiently so turn the gas down to, to a low heat That's barely uh, barely light. 
and now we'll have to wait for the, uh, the process to take effect. What we'll see is the hydrosol coming out of the end of the tube. The hydrosol just means a mixture of oil and water. Getting a very high yield. This is the first sample. And what we'll do later, when we, when we feel that we've exhausted all of the oil from the first batch, is we'll take another sample and you should be able to see very little oil. Regularly take samples. As you can see the oil level is diminishing. Now the first batch is, is complete. We're seeing no or very little oil on the surface of the water in the glass. And you can see how much we've, uh, we've extracted by the amount that's in the demijohn. So ready for a new bath. Having uh, decanted or siphoned off the water from underneath, um, so just using a simple tube, we've, we've siphoned off all of the water which we've saved and we've left behind some water and, and this was literally filled with oil. But a um, bit on the brown side, so there was some sediment in it. So what I've done, I've added a small funnel with a little bit of kitchen roll and now I'm just carefully uh, pouring the bottle into there to filter off the brown residue and if you have a look in the bottom of the bottle I'm pouring into you can see that it's coming out pretty clean now once we've left it stand and let it settle out um, say for a week or so this will be crystal clear this is the eucalyptus oil I passed it through a paper filter towel and we'll let that stand and we should be able to get pure oil ok now that we've let our oil settle that's had three days now you'll need a funnel, a small funnel, and a bottle to store the oil in. So using a syringe and a piece of tubing that we've fitted, we can draw up the oil. It's a very good yield. Mm. We'll stop there. The oil that we're showing uh, separating is actually lavender oil from an earlier distillation. Um, this is shown on another video so I do find time to watch it and also another video the first one we made shows how the still is produced how to coil the copper tubing uh, also worthy of a watch so we've passed last year's yield mark and we still have oil to collect from the bottle so we'll have another go now don't worry about sucking any sediment up This can also be ejected from the bottom. And we still have some more oil to, to remove from the top of there.
Cheers. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. This is the actual oil, the eucalyptus oil that we've extracted from the Blue Mountain Gum Tree. Um, it is incredibly potent. I put two drops on my chest. Um, it was like sticking a hot water bottle up my t-shirt. Fantastic. Not found anything like this on the market. Be sure to check out my other videos that show how to make a still, um, how to call the copper tubing, and how to extract lavender oil. But also check out my website, which is inclinedbedtherapy.com. So that's inclinedbedtherapy.com. You'll find that research, which has taken 20 years of my life, absolutely fascinating. Have a great day. Thank you.